Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to battle uh, the aliens, specifically Xeno forms of aliens with only wet noodles, aka good old ballistic weapons and of course no armor upgrades because we want to see some more difficulty. Low hit points means more people are going to die, but today it is Operation Dragon Storm, where Dr. Igor Ivanov, an engineer, is our main VIP. We get a lot of intel out of it, which would be great so that we can expand our uh, territory. And there are two potential corporals uh, that we could grab. Uh, Maximilian Richter and Ryan Fitzgerald are available. I'll take everybody but Hogbite. I mentioned uh, that whenever someone else is available, we're going to go with them. Hogbite is, so to speak, the fill-in whenever possible. So we got Run Planet, uh, we got Namri Universe, we got Sane, uh, Dark Taranaxus, and Hayward. And we're fighting against the loss. I'm particularly looking at you, uh, Dark Tower, because you're the only one with multi-shot at this point. And I sure hope that we're going to find success in suppressing and killing a couple of the Lost. Keep in mind, we're playing without the Lost Headshot mod, so this is actually going to be quite difficult. Right, action intro, everybody lands. To help with the operation. The VIP and our resistance contact are hunkered down and holding position somewhere in this area. Good, got the VIP here near the exit. That's cool. We got sonar here. to the designated coordinates for extraction. Keep your heads up out there, people. And it is unclear where exactly the last potential soldier is. Well, we're going to do it metho uh, methodical, okay. one step at a time. Ooh, chrysalids and losts. Well, what a joyful combination. Amri runs out, uh, runs up as well. We want the high ground. So far, we're still very much concealed. Good to go. Hayward blocks the ladder. Our Tarnoxus takes the other side. We're sticking together as a team. Power numbers, as they say. Uh oh. Uh oh. Couple more chrysalids. Yeah, both uh, factions will start to find each other. And Sonar somehow forgot his armor. He kind of looks like a world uh, uh, a WWE uh, wrestler. It's just missing the makeup. Oh yeah. Understood. Moving out. Good. We're moving past that. Moving to designated position. Fire discipline at least sixty six percent. Yes. Howard has the bulb up. I think for now we're just pushing forward. She's also the one with the regenerating armor. Moving to designated coordinates. Wrong planet braces his weapon and we just have an overwatch. Luckily the pack 
right to our back is retreating. More chrysalid rippers. All of them have spotted out the losts. I'm actually quite happy with them just fighting each other for now. Oh, they are missing, which is bad. The loss will retaliate. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so if my, my game understanding works correct, uh, this here would not yet trigger uh, break concealment. But the question is, should we maybe just give it a go for now? We have more chrysalids over there. Now, we're going to... We have no timed mission. We're going to definitely overwatch with everyone. We are going to be spotted out as more of the chrysalids are now coming. I'm using the rare opportunity of enemies effectively starting to hit each other. There's the spot out that I was talking about. Okay, cool. There is a pack. Gotta be careful, every single grenade triggers uh, yet another lost spawn. Tired of waiting around. That's one of the contacts we were looking for, but there are still others in the area. Good, like I mentioned, we want to be careful here. Fantastic. Position confirmed. All right, sonar is ready. Reload. Overwatch. Yeah, don't want to blow up the rooftop for us. Good hit. Fantastic hit. Very nice overwatch. Oh, there's another pack. And we see through the fog of war that just down that alley, there is uh, the next uh, soldier that we could grab. Oh, careful with those. The bombers are a problem. Are the boomers ready? Uh, rather. See, that's why I was careful in the beginning. I really didn't want to <clears throat> trigger more enemies.
Good work. Taking down the chrysalids, specifically the larger chrysalids, is they are a big problem. Careful here. We're starting with memory. Damn it. That looked very, very smooth. She was just smoking this guy out. Okay, we can't see through the window. <clears throat> we know there's a, bo a boomer or a bomber in there. <clears throat> I would say we're sticking down here just to have a different angle on uh, the enemies that are on the lower ground. <clears throat> And now the problem starts. Lost swarm sizes have been increased. So we're looking at a terrible amount of enemies. There's someone down here. Let's just block the ladder for now. Memory takes care of business. The next ladder is uh, there, which is unfortunately a bit too far for us. Noxus, oh, oh my god, the boomer, uh, bomber or boomer is standing right below us. Gotta get the dashers first. Okay, so I got one. Out of round. You know that was good. Can't use grenades, and we all know why, because grenades unfortunately will trigger even more losses. Trying to get the, uh, the dashers down, first and foremost. Ready to rock. Target disabled. At least the few chrysalids that are on the map should have a very hard uh, time to survive against the, the masses of losses. Well, the mine did its job, but it also made it so much worse. Back online. Not too shabby. Good. Understood. We're slowly but surely starting with uh, different high ground sonar. Takes the high ground over here. Enemy down. Back in. Big deal. Very nice. Can we get upstairs? Potentially not yet. Finally. But Hayward can follow. Scanning. At least Overwatch. 
Okay, slowly but surely we're trying to make our way further. Sane begins to move up. More problems ahead. Memory supports on this flank. Ah, too bad. Well, I think we're going to take the first damage then. Well, the next Lost Swarm spawns these drones will have a problem. Oh, there was a chance. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. The lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. All right, Sane begins to heal himself. Three points of damage is no joke. Also gets revenge against the little Ripper. Can't believe that I'm going to say that, but we need help against the Lost. Uh, against the Swarm. That car is going to explode, which will make it so much worse. Don't we don't have enough firepower? And uh, not enough uh, ammunition. So all we can do is fire an overwatch. Moving. Hostile neutralized. Gonna need to reload soon. Let's move already. Finally got the high run on the other side. Bit of overwatch. And I think we're just overwatching instead of bracing. Alright, at least the chrysalids are very much uh, focusing on fighting the loss, which is good. Uh, it's not optimal. There's soon another swarm to be had. Good. Enjoy the moment of silence whilst it lasts, because very, very soon another swarm is going to show up. No, 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 that's not a good idea. The explosion will damage us as well. Not even 
All right, reload. Shot. One down. You know that was good. I hope it's worth it. Noxus moves up. One down, Another one up. down. Good. This time we... It makes a huge difference whether or not you do have four or effectively six um, shots in order to kill loss. This time with uh, six potential uh, way, uh, ways to eliminate them and high ground. We're actually doing really well. Good, we can move forward. Ru Ru is standing there. He was uh, one of our you say. soldiers in the last run. He was a Psy warrior, Psy operative. Glad to see him back in business. Good, reloaded. Make it more efficient. Whatever you say. Well, how about that? Sidearm worked out very well, and we have one flank completely cleared. Moving up with sonar. Good Let's do this. And hey, where follows? You want some more? Running it's not that simple when you need to balance basically. Uh oh. Uh oh. When you need to balance. What's over there? the moving forward together with um, keeping your ammu uh, ammunition count uh, high enough and also killing all of the enemies how that's completely stupid i was far enough away from everyone XCOM physics. Yeah, you just have to love them because they always throw a nice little curveball at you. Let's do this. Double time. Good, we're getting our seventh soldier. Roro is ready. So now overwatches. Hayward overwatches. Emery Looks like you found one pushes of the forward that was deployed in this area. and I'm gets sure Roro up you. and running. I like it. Absolutely. Taking high ground as soon as humanly possible. Not too shabby. 
And now it's time to take out the dashers. That guy in particular, four hit points and a dasher. That's exactly what a sniper is used for. I'm trying to always hit the higher hit point targets with the weapons that are dealing more damage, of course. Overwatch with Dark Tarnoxus. This is not a 100% kill. Nope. Uh, There's a chance of messing it up. Best time saying to miss a few shots. There you go. All right, Roro, freshly rescued. Oh, yeah. Gets to enjoy being hit right away. giving up on the high ground, falling a slight tad bit back. Planet saves Namri by just taking down that guy. Namri, fresh reload into kill. We're almost done killing Loss. Who would have thought? It just took like what? Uh, turns upon turns upon turns. Very good. Namri takes the shotgun and takes revenge. Roro and Sonar push forward. Sonar wants to help with uh, the VIP. Let's get him out. Confirmation on the VIP. Remember, getting that VIP to the extraction point supersedes all other priorities. Don't let anything happen to him. Let's do this. Already there. But we're rushing towards the exit because that's where we want to go. The losses are no longer here, which is good. Let's keep it that way. Oh yeah, Igor is with us. This might become a really successful mission. Oh yeah, jump through the window without a shirt on. What could possibly go wrong? almost here careful VIP goes first I learned my lesson in the last run there is a bug if you evac all with a chance of the VIP not being evac in time 
And now all of our soldiers, all seven, get the big fat evac. Wow, that was a W. Got two soldiers out of it, corporals, mind you. A couple of promotions, even. The speaker commended loyal citizens today. Lost no one, just a few injuries, and I think the team did all right. Oh, yeah, promotions across the board. Cool, wrong planet uh, got his promotion. Let's um, review. We got the sniper, marksman proficiency, which now went to level two. Uh, whilst braced, uh, there is 20% reduction of aim penalty. Um, target's chance to dodge is reduced by 20%. And 20% chance of critting unflanked uh, targets. Okay, cool. Well, that's not bad. Lightweight optics, more maneuverable, allows marksmen to utilize sniper rifle without first setting and bracing. That was a really good uh, take on us. High approach angle, when firing at enemies at a lower elevation while braced, negate 50% of the defense they receive from cover. That is very strong. Hollow targeting no longer ends your turn. Okay, well that's more the supporter route. 10% crit chance for enemies that are flanked or cannot see you. And the stalk ability, a toggle ability that uh, lowers both marksman's mobility and detection radius. Okay, that is more if we want to use him for scouting. I want to use him as a classical sniper, so I like the high approach angle. I like the high approach angle, which 50% uh, when firing at enemies at lower elevation, while braced, which still means bracing is a good uh, thing, they get 50% of the defense uh, they receive from cover. I think that's good. There's no effect on enemies that cannot take cover, but it has a lot of effect uh, on enemies in full cover in particular. I like that. Good. Namri gets either blast padding. 66% less damage from explosive attacks on top of that, which is good. Plus one mobility. At the uh, end of each turn, gains a 2.5% uh, chance per tile moved up to 25% to convert standard hits uh, received into grazed hits. Okay. When attacked through full cover, incoming damage is reduced by two hit points and the attack cannot... Ooh, ooh. I tell you what, that is actually really really good the enemy is very seldomly taking full cover uh, um, uh, cover uh, dis uh, destruction so this could actually hit us capable of reducing damage all the way to zero it pairs well with either armor or dodge slash grace builds hmm. I'm a sucker for good defensive abilities. Those of you who have seen my other playthroughs would know by now that my theory is if your soldiers can survive an onslaught, you can play a little bit more loose and there is more room for errors that you can uh, take. So I actually like that, specifically in the limelight of us not having armor upgrades. Good, sane here has Adrenaline Rush, which was uh, the run and uh, gun ability. <clears throat> Once per turn after landing a standard shot on a flanked or exposed target, gain a movement only ability to reposition. And the option to not trigger Overwatch. I tell you what, um, last time we used Adrenaline Rush, I like that.
I like that one as well. So we are going to just mix it up a little bit and we're going to use reposition. Just trying to uh, trying out the different builds here. Well, he is genius slash seven, apparently is that's the new word for it. Covering fire was great, flush it out, I didn't like it that much and this could be just, he could be an overwatch monster if we give him an expanded magazine. I like the covering fire still, I think that's the basis of any good build. Uh, I will get danger zone, no worries. Good, and finally, Sergeant Rank for Namri. We got that adaptive uh, alloy plating. Again, a defensive skill. Combat Protocol now deals 200, plus 200% uh, damage to mechanical enemies and plus one additional base damage to non-mechanical enemies. The recharge time is um, increased by two turns. Most Gremlin protocols and sniper rifles may be used uh, at squad side ranges. Ooh, that would give her a squad side. Does that give her a squad side? Because that would be huge. Most Gremlin protocols applies to ABC protocols, haywire protocol, remote repair, and targeting uplift. Does not apply to hacking objectives. Okay, cool. I am almost more flattered by the idea of her using proper uh, sniper rifles. But then again, we got her as a frontliner with uh, the adaptive plating. Okay, what's the third one before we're deciding? Tech specialist remains concealed when the squad breaks concealment. And using ABC no longer breaks individual concealment. 20% reduction on base detection radius. Hmm. She could be our scout. This will make her much more like a shinobi. With light weapons going in. Being able to scout. I like the flexibility that these classes offer, a very distinct playstyle, so whilst the technician, low profile, right, um, which typically is available on high grounds, would give you full profile, uh, full cover, uh, then extended range, which gives you squad side, um, and the destroyer seems to be like more the melee-ish focus, or close range focus, and this here is even the stealth focus. I like what I'm seeing. Let's try to do combat protocol and do the overload. Uh, we'll uh, make her into more of a melee or close ranged target combatant with a bulb up. I am trying to make sense of that weapon, so mainly trying to use it. We could also uh, always get extended signal range later. Now oh, that's good. I like what I'm seeing. Fantastic. Good, we're starting the next excavation because that's really what we need to do. Excavate, excavate, excavate. In the meantime, we got two more zappers. And I really appreciate the diversity here. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. I like the entrenched, but I also like uh, I also like blast padding. For now, let's go with blast padding as the standard on those guys. And sonar, my dude, 
You really gotta get a different outfit. I truly appreciate that you are confident in yourself, but you can't run in naked. That is not how it works. Immediately reminds me of that nudist uh, beach uh, mission that we did in our last run, where we fought against a lot of the sectors. And I, for the first time, realized if you put all of them together, they definitely look like a group of nudists. Okay, cool. So, if you ask me, these Templars are just as crazy as my brother. What is it? We wanted more rookies. And we definitely want to make contact, which we won't be, well, we will be able to, uh, until the next supply drop. Commander, we've just received intel that one of Dr. Volland's escape tests... Good, so the Viper King is in West Europe. Let's just rem uh, remember that. We get some modular assault rifles, which is good. Continuing with resistance radio, really. And we got more soldiers coming. And let's see who just joined. Because we have fresh meat for the meat grinder. Mike the Public Bravo joined us. Welcome to the team, my friend. A. Aaron makes a reappearance in the campaign. Anders Sanders is here. Uh, just recently designed him, so glad to see that he made the cut. And Quake made the cut with a rather Asian looking uh, helmet there. Okay, cool. So let's do what we were supposed to do, which is Training more classes. <clears throat> Definitely need one or two more field medics, one or two more marines. Definitely a new uh, marksman as well. And definitely an assault infantry. Let's start with the definite needs. So Mike becomes an assault infantry. There we go. Good. Optimizing our loot. Sometimes I let it wait uh, for one uh, for one month because it then piles up and you only need three days to uh, to get it. Contacted are well equipped to track down the chosen. Their knowledge will be invaluable in helping XCOP locate and eliminate these threats. We already have a covert operation underway, Commander. It will take some time to complete. We already have forces deployed on a covert action, Commander. We won't be able to initiate That's fine, the uh, Central. Complete. Don't Commander, sweat it. Protect the device, but we get an engineer, which would be great. Um, versus a scientist, which would also be not too bad. We're lacking scientists and we do have a problem with our research at the moment. So I think the next mission actually will be <clears throat> one to get a scientist. Recover uh, an item from a resistance haven. Sounds easy enough in terms of options here. I like how this here will make lower ranking soldiers immediately better, but I don't want to waste time or money for that. Not yet. Could get a flashbang grenade. Might not be the worst idea if we run into sectors, for instance. I've never actually had one of these advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. No one really Good. Infirmary is on the go, so we're okay in terms of 
availability we do have a solid roster and we can send the a team into the next mission a couple of wounded uh, soldiers uh, there part of our a team is still on covert uh, covert action so we might need to take someone else we would need to go in without a field medic which i don't like so far those have turned out to be super helpful having the ability to use med kits always is helpful <clears throat> yeah we're i'm just going to uh, go with a normal uh, team everything but a uh, but a field medic and we're going to uh, we're going to do that the next mission Thank you for watching guys if you are interested in being drafted for a future run go to the first mission of the series just leave your uh, name uh, and request down below if you're interested in supporting the channel and joining the resistance uh, on Saiken's play channel then feel free to leave a like button and or a comment and see you in two days bye bye guys